Your Holiness, thank you very much indeed for honouring us with your presence on MasterChef and being your four invited guests with you. Tim Costello, CEO of World Vision Australia. Shanika Fernando from Lentilers Anything Restaurants in Melbourne. Reverend Bill Cruz, founder and CEO of the Exodus Foundation and a secret member of the MasterChef team. Ronnie Khan, founder and CEO of Oz Harvest. Your Holiness, our contestants with your lunch. Walking into that room and Dalai Lama sitting there right in front of us. <laughs> I have to say, I'm a little bit shaky. Your Holiness, these seven beautiful contestants have been cooking all morning and now they are going to offer you their dishes. Thank you. Thank you. Your Holiness, it's one of the most nerve wracking moments of my life I think. I've got this big train, it's quite heavy, I've sort of probably got my shaky hands going on and I hope it's good. I've uh, created a, a Japanese noodle consomme. Thank you. Or oh, Indian style. Holiness, I have prepared a Middle Eastern feast for you today. Middle East, I see. Oh, wonderful. Hmm? Your Holiness. <laughs> Um, I prepared for you a Sri Lankan vegetarian oh. curry. Thank you. Thank you. What's that? Holiness. <laughs> <laughs> Today I cooked for you um, Lohanzai, which is Buddha's delight. Thank you. Your Holiness, today I've prepared for you a, a goat's cheese tortellini with a beetroot puree and a beetroot soup. Thank you. Dalai Lama, today I've created for you a dessert, a coconut pudding with fresh mango steam and a coriander anglaise sauce. Thank you. Your Holiness, um, today I had a bit of a disaster in the kitchen. Um, it's not what I wanted on the plate. The dish that I wanted to cook um, is something that um, I cook for my family a lot. I wanted to share it with you today, but... I didn't get on the plate. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Well done. Good on. When the Dalai Lama holds my hand, it's just, it's truly a memorable moment for me. You know, it doesn't matter what happened and it doesn't matter what's on the plate because it's just food. I've created some beautiful elements on the plate. I just want him to enjoy what I've got for him, no matter what, how bad it is.